So I'm uh, Dr. Amzalak from France and I'm, uh, I'm in a private practice, in a private clinic in uh, near Lille in the north of France. Uh, so I'm uh, mainly a cataract surgeon. What I like mainly is, uh, is uh, safety and uh, efficiency. And uh, what I like also is to work uh, through uh, micro incisions and uh, to uh, work, you know, with uh, another, uh, 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 um, uh, with a um, maintained entry chamber. Uh, so it's very really important for me. And uh, I use uh, dispersive viscoelastic, but I like to use also micro instruments. That's the reason why I like to use uh, MST instruments. I like very much the Malugan ring because it's uh, it's uh, very efficient, it's reversible, it's uh, easy to use. So I use it quite uh, easily, and uh, I use it as uh, as soon as the uh, pupil di diameter is less than uh, uh, four millimeter, four to four point five millimeter, especially. Uh, when uh, there is an IFIS syndrome or if there is a, a, a capsular pseudo exfoliation. Because if you start the surgery with a, with a, a small pupil or a medium pupil, uh, it never stays like that. Uh, it, it, it always decreases. So you have, you have to anticipate on that and to use the malogreen ring, you know, uh, since the beginning of the surgery. So uh, I always prefer, you know, to use a, a malogen ring than to be stuck during surgery with a very small pupil, okay? Uh, even if we can also use a malogen ring during surgery. So if really you don't, you know, expect to have a, the pupil becoming small and the pupil becomes small uh, due to those uh, conditions or due to other uh, reason, you can always uh, uh, put the, the malogen ring on the iris during the surgery uh, to carry on uh, the case and to finish the case in a very safe uh, condition. So I like very much malogen ring that can be used through 2.2 to 2 millimeter uh, incision. It's very easy to, uh, to um, uh, put it in place and it's also very easy to remove. So uh, that's the reason why I like this device. It really changed all my um, way to manage small pupils. Uh, among the other instruments I like to use uh, uh, at ABC, uh, there is uh, the capture bag retractors uh, for subluxated lens. Uh, the, the, the cause of, uh, of the sub, uh, subluxated lens can be uh, traumatic or pseudo exfoliation or any uh, other condition and uh, I like very much to use those uh, capture bag retractors and I think those devices modify the approach of uh, FACO emulsification on, uh, on uh, um, subluxated lenses. Uh, we used to, uh, to perform more intracaps uh, extra extraction and uh, thanks to, the, uh, to those retractors we can do now, FACO emulsification uh, with the stabilization of the capture bag using the, uh, the capture bag retractors. So, um, uh, if you think that you're going to have uh, an increase in, uh, in a subluxation, or if you, you, if you see at the beginning of the case that you have uh, a, a zone of, su of su subluxation, of, or if uh, uh, you have a phacodonesis, or if all the uh, zonula is also weak, uh, you can just uh, put some uh, um, some um, uh, capture bag retractors. There are four in the box, so you put it, you know, uh, at the edge of the capture axis through uh, four micro incision. And when the capture bag is uh, stabilized, thanks to the, the system, you can perform uh, the the phacoemulsification in a very easy way. And if the uh, pupil uh, retract during the surgery, it's also maintained uh, by the capsule bag retractors. Uh, when the, uh, the nucleus and the cortex are removed, you can evaluate if the capsule bag can be used to implant or not. If the capsule bag can be used, you can implant in the bag and then uh, it's it, that's it. But if it's not solid enough and you can uh, know it during the, uh, 
uh, IA during uh, the cort cortex removal, then you just have to remove the bag, uh, the empty bag, uh, through 2.2 uh, millimeters and use uh, an iris fixated uh, lens uh, at the posterior face of the iris. So, in my opinion, uh, those capsule bag uh, retractors completely changed the approach of uh, the phacomystification on subluxated lenses.